Hey guys, so today's video, or tonight's video, or whatever, is going to be a, another ARMY Q&A. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions, like frequently asked questions, and just, you know, random, random questions, emails, whatever, and I want to go ahead and clear that up, because I'm sure a lot of people who fall across my videos, they have may have some questions, and I just want to go ahead and answer them. So, excuse my appearance, I look like a bum, but... It's my channel, I can look how I want to, and honestly, this is what I wear all the time. I like to be casual, and I ain't trying to impress anybody, so this is how I'm going to roll for right now. If you don't like it, I don't care. Okay, so, that's lots of questions. I pray to God my battery doesn't die. I'm going to be probably swapping between my phone and my computer. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the questions, like the girl questions, out the way. So guys, if you don't want to listen to that, scroll through the video and get on with the rest of the non-girl questions. But a lot of girls have emailed me or um, asked me, like in a comment, like, what do they do if, like, what do? You, let's see. So I just wanted to ask about how you dealt with being on your how uh, I just wanted to ask you how you dealt with uh, that time of the month during basic training and the best way I can really like describe or explain or like tell people is just you just deal with it like it's really not it's never been like an issue for me like ever it's just you deal with it when you're out in the field you deal with it like it is what it is like it's just like any other time like you just happen to be like training like I don't know, We I just never had an issue personally and people around us, like, no one ever really complained about it, so it's just something you have to deal with, it's part of life, so I don't really think, I feel like there's way more things to be worried about than that, so if that, if you're worried or like nervous about that, trust me, it's, it's really not that, it's not that bad. The Army has, I say this a lot also, the Army has been doing this for a long time, they know when to let you go to the bathroom or the latrine, like, don't worry about that. Um, are you allowed to be on birth control pills or that can or anything that can happen? Uh, I was told you were allowed to be. You could go to get birth control there. Uh, I've also seen videos where they say you could get it, but like we, no one ever got it there when I was at basic training. Um, also, if you did, you would have to go to sick call. And nobody got time to be going to sick call or some birth control and missing training um, and possibly getting behind. So just deal with it. Like, oh well, it's only 10 weeks. And afterwards, like when you go to AIT, I think you, it's easier to get on birth control like you, if you wanted to. But I had, I was like on my last week of birth control. And, um, and someone also asked me, like, did they take it away? Like, were you allowed to have it? Like, it all depends on your drill sergeants and what company or battery you get so my drill sergeant never took mine so I think it, if it's prescribed to you like they're not gonna take it from you but again don't quote me on that it just depends on your drill sergeant all right a lot of females are worried about like um, the MEPS that really sucks like I'm not gonna even lie like that that really sucks I'm very lucky that I you know didn't have to have to be on mine during MEPS like that really does suck but uh no one no one's gonna care honestly I promise okay so oh and before I move on do not post your ship dates I've said this before don't post your ship dates don't post where you're going to basic training anywhere on my on my YouTube, like on the comments, on your Facebook, don't post your address. If you want to give out your address uh, personally or privately, DM the person or the people that you want to. Make sure you tell your family not to like post your, you know, address and stuff because OPSEC guys, OPSEC Operations Security, we gotta get better at this stuff. So be careful with that. Um. Since I can buy stuff at the PX, how often do you think I will be able to go and get it? Um, we, there was so many, like, different, like, batteries at Fort Sill that, like, we didn't get to go to the PX as much as we should have, I guess. But honestly, you just, like, 
buy you just borrow like from everybody like if you ran out of something someone is always going to be willing to let you borrow something and vice versa um it all depends on where you go but for us it was always really busy and like packed so we just couldn't go sometimes i think we didn't go like three weeks at a time um maybe in a, even a month but it's fine borrow stuff from people um when do they check your bags do they open every ziploc bag yes they open everything you have to lay everything out when you get to reception so there's no way you can sneak anything crazy in and then once you get to basic training you get searched again so your pockets your everything gets searched and you can't hide anything because they're gonna tell you to get naked so just be honest throw everything away in the amnesty box when you get to reception and you'll be okay um, do they issue you socks and underwear? Um, they issue you like ACU socks, um, but the other socks you could buy from the PX and your underwear you can buy from the PX. Um, I heard they make you hold your bag over your head. If that's true, for how long do they have you to hold it? Um, I don't remember if we had to hold our bags over our heads, um, but you will get smoked a lot with your duffel bags and your like yeah so either way you're gonna get smoked in some way or form on shark on field day during the shark attack um so you might not have to hold your bags overhead but they will figure something out like doing like the bent what is it called like the squats and stuff or something crazy the eight count push up with it on your back or the squat bender like something that will make you do with your with it on um I heard they let you bring Blue Hall's cough drops. Is that true? More than likely, you won't be able to. But you can buy cough drops at the PX, or your family can send it to you. It all depends on your drill sergeant. Ours let our family, after a while, they're like, just whatever. They can send you cough drops. Um, and honestly, we ate those like candy. Um, a lot of people are self-conscious about their about showering in front of people. Don't even worry about it, y'all. Nobody cares. The first time I was like, oh my god, I'm not showering, like, for the whole week. And after, me, I have to shower every day or I feel disgusting. Girl, I showered so quick, I did not care. Nobody cares about that stuff, promise. Okay, it says, hi, I want to be in the army. I'm a vegan. Will that affect me in basic training? I do not eat any animal products. I've heard of vegetarians. <sighs> I told this person, like, that's something you should probably ask a recruiter about. Um, because the foods that they give us, you need, like, meats. You need, like, all that stuff that they feed you. You need it to compensate for the hard training that you're doing all day long, every day seven days a week um and yes seven days a week you don't get weekends off at basic training uh saturday is just like any other day during the week it's just like literally it's just another day during the week i just said that twice okay sundays you go to church you can go to like religious services and you get like a little bit of time off but then after that you go back and do like other training stuff um, you might not necessarily like go out and like go down to the range or something like that, but like you do stuff back at the at the company. Um, where did I find those? But yeah, girl, I have no idea. That is a really good question, but you should definitely go and talk to a recruiter about that. They will tell you. I mean, I get everybody's uh, questions answered, but. If I, I will definitely um, make another video. Um, are we allowed to wear contacts for graduation? Mm, yes and no. Um, it depends on your drill sergeant. Um, I did not, but I know some females that did. And it really doesn't matter. Like, it's just graduation. But, like, if your drill sergeant says you're not allowed to, just don't. And if they don't say anything ever, then do what you want. Oh. Hold on. <laughs> see. Someone asked me how many push-ups and how many sit-ups did I do at basic training. Honestly, 
a lot of people don't realize like I I have been out of basic training for over a year like so I don't remember like a lot of things like everything um, I did want to make a video on red white and blue face but I should have done that like right after I got home but like I remember but like I don't because that was so long ago um, but the most I've ever done was, oh, I think I wrote it down here. Oh, okay. Basically, I ran an 1835, push-ups, I ran a 38, or I pushed 38, and sit-ups, I did 58. <sighs> I'm kind of embarrassed about that. That is not a lot. Um, now, I, I, the most I've ever done was 78 push-ups. Um, the most sit-ups I've ever done was 75, and then the, the fastest run I've ever done, and I haven't done a PT test in a in like six months so the last PT test I did was 16.35 and I'm pretty sure my 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 run is a little bit better than that I probably shaved off like maybe 10 seconds of that maybe don't quote me on that um yeah but then again that was my last PT test but um yeah okay um Thank you. I'm leaving for basic training in two weeks from now. Freaking nervous. Everyone says they're nervous. Don't be nervous. Like, so many people have done this before you, and so many people will do it after you. You can do anything you put your mind to. So, just remember why, what you're there for, and, like, just push through it. Um, For sports bras, do they have to be a certain color or brand? As long as it's not, like, lingerie looking and... It has to be black, white, or nude colored. And same with underwear too. If I didn't, yeah. Same with underwear. Our quarter crew socks, our quarter crew white socks, okay, girl. I don't even know what a quarter crew sock is. Just get crew socks. And I was gonna pack a double bag. Don't do that. <laughs> Just bring a book bag. It's 12 o'clock at night. Who is doing that? Um, here is the real. Um, how often did you get your phones during basic? I ask, I answer this a lot. Uh, we got our phones after we phased over to white phase for 30 minutes um, on Sundays. And so really, technically, we got 20 minutes because we had to turn our phones on and then we had to turn our phones off. And we had to have that all done in 30 minutes. So I guess maybe like 15 minutes. Maybe 25. Maybe 20. 20. But at least we got our phones. But don't count on that. We were really lucky. Like super, super lucky. Um, let's see. Someone asked me about the peanut butter shot or the penicillin, penicillin shot. Um, I'm trying to find that one. I should have screenshotted it. But... Someone asked me if I'm Nigerian. No, I'm not Nigerian. So I'm hoping to enlist this year. I'm 19 and I really want to be a combat medic. Yeah. I dropped out of school when I was 16 and I recently finished my online school. So I have an online high school diploma. How will that affect when I go to enlist? As long as it's an accredited school, I don't see any reason why they wouldn't take it. But that's also something to talk to your recruiter about, so we'll see. Someone asked, I want to join, but I'm stuck between Army and the Air Force, and I heard bad stuff happen about, bad stuff about the Army that happens that are iffy, and then I asked her, like, what kind of things have you heard, and she said, I just heard you don't get treated as well in basic training. You sit around. <laughs> that's not true. Um... But I would, I wouldn't know if yeah. she wasn't. She wasn't saying like I want to be treated, have like special treatment or anything like that. But she, she was just wondering. Um, yeah, the army is definitely like one of the branches where you just get, you're just nothing. Like you really are nothing. You're, you. Everyone starts from the bottom, and like you really can't take that personal because like your drill sergeant started from the bottom too. So I don't know. Um, but yeah. It, you don't sit around. I mean, there are times where you're not doing anything, for sure. But you have to be, like, studying your blue book or something. You can't fall asleep. Um, there's a lot of people that are going through training, so you have to get everyone through, like, the range and whatever. 
but you definitely don't sit around and do nothing. And if they are, then I don't know where they went. They must have. So people are asking me about um, the workout plan or whatever. I need to get on a workout plan. Email me and I will send you a workout plan. All right. Do you do PT in reception? Yes and no. You're really not allowed to smoke in reception because they want you to go to basic training as unhurt as possible. Um, but yes, you can get smoked in training. I, I got smoked in reception and I went to basic with hurt as like like my thighs were hurting so bad because we got smoked doing squat bender Ooh, that hurt badly but it didn't really affect me so are there guys there yes males and females all train together in the army unless you're infantry or like cavalry and don't even think about flirting with them because that's fraternizing and you can get in a lot of trouble for fraternizing and you're not there to meet your boyfriend or your husband so I'm going to basic training in two weeks at Fort Sill. Again, don't post your where you're going. I found out yesterday, do you have anything physically? Anything physical, get physically ready for basic training. Email me anybody who has a question about um, a work working out because I will send you a workout. Oh, somebody, another battle buddy from basic training. So I didn't realize my fan was on, so I just turned it off. Sorry, y'all. I'm not allowed to refill this thing, but this is gonna be my last um, question because my batteries look uh, running low. Okay, so someone said, asked, um, I heard that there's a peanut, this thing called the peanut butter shot or penicillin shot. Uh, did I get that? Yes, everyone gets the peanut butter or the penicillin shot, unless you're allergic to penicillin. Um, and basically it's just a shot that you like get in your butt and you have to like rub it or whatever to like make sure it doesn't form a callus or whatever. So like you get the shot and it really doesn't hurt. Like it, it honestly does not hurt at all. And I hate needles and, uh, it didn't hurt. And you just go to like the spot, like the station and you, like, you have to rub it and be careful not to rub it in front of people cause they might like sharp you or something, which is a dumb reason to sharp somebody. Um, but basically, yeah, only if the aftermath hurts, like the day, the few days afterwards it hurts, but like the actual shot doesn't hurt at all. And she was worried, like, um, how do you know if you're allergic? Like you would know if you're allergic when you're a baby, because I think all babies get penicillin shots. Um, how long do we, oh, are there cold showers? How long do we have? I never had a cold shower, per se. Like, Joe Sarton's like, we're taking cold showers tonight. Like, that never happened. But we had shower drills, like, the first day at, at basic training. And I think we got, like, five minutes. Um, but after that, like, you just do whatever. Like, at your own discretion. Like, you just get in your shower and go. And I'm, honestly, I take the spas of shower as I could so I can go to sleep. Because a beat was tired.